All right, Curtis Johnson here for Positioning for Profit. So let's talk about how do you manage a large team uh, using this technology and this system and, and in general. So obviously we want to drive a lot of leads and we've got all of our websites and all of our different uh, systems that do that. Once the leads come through, um, the leads drop into the dashboard, right? And um, all these leads come in, you can see what's going on when the, la when the lead last logged in, how they've been working, what's going on with them right now everything else like that, right? So all the leads come in here. We've got visual progression system to be able to visually see where they're at in the process. Agents can be able to do this as well. But from a, I'm gonna try and take a, from a management standpoint, what do you really do, okay? So one thing we can always be able to do is we can always be able to say, okay, what's a single agent doing? Okay, I can do, look at the entire team or pick an agent individually. Uh, I can look at their next 10 escrows, who are the next 10 people they think is gonna go into escrow check all the buyer brokers or all the buyer side of the business, all the listing side of the business, escrows, closed, and all the files that have been completely closed out. Let's just give you an example here for one of my agents here. Uh, look in the pipeline feature, look at, okay, buyers have met with and still converting? No. Two sellers have met with and are still converting. Uh, current signed buyers, 27 signed buyers to buyer buyer broker agreements right here throughout this process. One current signed listing and nine current escrows. And then you've got your closed and settled right there. So you can go ahead and see that. And then you can also go down into what are the next 10 escrows, right? Where, what is that? And you can drag and drop these and say, okay, this person now is going to go up to number one or number two up here. And all this, this process all the way through throughout this, okay? So you can always be able to see, if I'm going to have a, a consultation with an agent, be able to see all this different stuff right there. And I can also see all the agents in one time, okay? I can be able to monitor them. I can be able to see right here what's going on, okay? Agents have the ability, they score themselves. How, how uh, ready are they to take more leads? 10 is I'm ready, red, red hot, ready to go. Um, less than that is, you know, zeros, I'm, I'm cold, not ready to do it. You can see who's working right now when the last time they've logged in, everything else like that. Um, you can see right here, do they get to see view unassigned leads? And that's our way of saying they've got leads that uh, are not assigned to different agents that haven't been converted yet. Can you see those? Okay. Can you see them right away? Maybe you want to hold them for a day before you let them see it. You want to have your best agents work them right away. Maybe you've got some new agents you want to wait. No, you got to wait 30 days before you get access to those leads. They can still get leads um, brought to them by four different ways, and I'll show you how that works in a second. Get a show. Can you view them on the site? Are they active? You can shut them out of the system right there. And are they in a lead rotation? If so, do they handle buyers, sellers, or both? Um, which one, you know, how do you want to, how do you want to have that go to them? You can wait the buyer leads so they get more buyer leads or more seller leads. Uh, inside, you can do it by location, by zip code, by areas you don't want leads to go to them. Maybe they only do certain price ranges. You can do all of that, uh, different stuff like that. Plus, let me just quickly show you our lead distribution system. So you can send leads just to one single agent and want all the leads to go to this person on a certain day or just until you've changed your mind during these times. And then maybe if this agent doesn't convert it, maybe you've got inside sales, it goes to this person, but yet then if they don't get to it in a certain time, it rolls over and every 10 minutes it goes to a new agent until an agent accepts that lead and is ready to work it. Uh, you can do a round robin, right? It can go just bouncing around from, okay, now it's the next agent's turn, next agent's turn, and you can have it just stop there or you can say if they don't convert it within 10 minutes or work it, we'll bounce it on to the next agent, okay? What that does is that gets urgency for your agents to jump in and work it right away instead of once a lead drops to them, hey, I'll get to it in a couple hours and there's no urgency, okay? That'll kill you. Instant leads, you can go out and shoot, all, shoot the lead out to all of your agents at once or choose any of them. And the first one to get in and get it, uh, they can claim the lead and it blocks everybody else out, okay? It's a great system with that. Or a timed rotation which you can go in and choose a, a, a schedule, move people around and say, okay, I want all the leads in this time frame to go to this agent as well. So you can completely control uh, how that works, um, how that's going to go. And then also, we there's several other things right here. So uh, actually, let me show you this right here. Uh, our instant, uh, instant cash flash report right here is anytime an agent does an activity, let's say they toured homes or ne uh, open negotiations or could be anything, right? As soon as they've done any of these, maybe anytime they, as a new agent, anytime they make a call and speak with anybody, you want to get notified, an email or anything else like that. Maybe you just want to have, you just want to mentor one agent. So, so only when this one agent does something, you want to get emailed or maybe you want to email 
Um, maybe they want to email their husband or wife and let them know they finally had a closing or uh, they finally picked up the phone, whatever that might be. Maybe so you've got a mentor or a coach or something like that. You can do that. And every time this activity happens, you'll be notified. And it gives incredible power. So I get to always know, you know, it used to be, you know, sometimes it would be a, a day or two before I know, hey, someone took a listing or got a buyer signed or uh, closing or anything else like that. I know immediately, as soon as that button's hit, I get notified and it gives me an opportunity to, you know, let them know, hey, congratulations on that. Or could be even as soon as maybe we lose something. I want to know, hey, why didn't we get that listing signed or anything else like that, okay? Plus, we've got um, our flash reports, okay? And flash reports, these go out every day. Um, you've got your daily, weekly, monthly, and these go out to uh, the team. I'll just kind of pop this open right here just to kind of show you a little bit. It's essentially like our, our leaderboard, okay? Agents that closed escrows last week, agents that wrote contracts, agents who opened negotiations, signed listings, signed buyers, toured homes, whatever that might be, right? So then it gives you a breakdown each day, um, sends this out every day, every week, every month, goes out, and it gives the um, our team, let's go right here to our leaderboard, actually, we'll just show you right here. So let's say the last 90 days, once again, this gets emailed out, plus you can go in and, and see this right away, how many calls people are making. You can look at today, yesterday, anything else like that. So you're always, you've got all this these flash reports right in front of you, so you know, hey, are we doing the right activities or not? Okay, we've got 80 contracts and and this is that good is we got how many buyers signed how many listing appointments how many closings all kinds of things like that that gives you right away plus you can go on any day you can come right in here and if uh, you want to adjust any of the numbers you want to change and say hey you know this person they mismarked their number or you want to go back in and put in old numbers so that you've got numbers for the whole year or whatever you can just quickly click on a button and as a super admin you can go in and just edit that number and so you've always got good data um, in there. And also, we've got ways that you can go through. I'll just uh, show you, you know, whatever right here. One of my agents, just look at the last 90 days here. Um, so we get a breakdown for each one of the different agents, you know, what their average, what their totals a day is or, or whatever. Gets to show how many current escrows, how many homes sold in the last, you know, could be 30 days, 60, 90 days, whatever it is. How much are they making per call? How much per spoke with, right? What's their funnel over the last, you know, how many leads over that period of time? What's their call attempt ratios? What are their signing percentages? Everything throughout this, you get all of that data right there. So you can really go through and uh, go through and consult with that agent and be able to find out, hey, you know what? Is this going good? Is this, is there something you're struggling with? And it gives you that chance to go through and see, hey, are you making those, doing the right activities? And is this really, are we on track or are we not? So if you want to really be able to run a, a highly profitable team, you'll be able to do that. You've got to be able to track your leads. You've got to be able to manage and have all those things without having to manually go pull up all those numbers. Those have to be right there and pushed out to you. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea on how to run a team uh, effectively.